not proper as i think because rope is a measurement uh, uh, inst uh, measurement instrument uh, the the rope used to measure the things in laukik ganit but raju is a technical term of jain literature and in fact it is uncountable i just want to mention that a more detailed description uh, as madam mentioned uh, yesterday regarding raju but a more detailed information is available in the cosmology old and new by g r jain that is a commentary of the twar sutra uh, a fourth chapter cosmology old and new that is published by bharati ganpit it has a very detailed discussion of the raju and it is more appropriate so rashi initially rashi is uh, uh, translated as heap of grain but professor lc jain pointed out well and there are a lot of internal reference that rashi is synonymical to set the as we mathematician know the set is a well defined collection of the objects similarly rashi is well defined mithya drishti jeev rashi bhavya jeev rashi abhavya jeev rashi vanaskat vanaspati kayak jeev rashi they are all well defined so the rashi og punj and sampad the person of the language can do better justice with this very topic but as illustrated by professor lc jain and pointed out by him that the rashi is more suitable regarding set and even in the shatkhandagam book 3 we find the use of the word rashi and in dhavla commentary a detailed discussion of set superset subset power set all these are available even singleton set finite set infinite set countable set uncountable set so we cannot ignore this very subject and the translation of the word rashi to set theory is more appropriate then kala savan kala savan is technical term used by uh, jain uh, acharyas for fraction and jamata simple equation varg quadratic equation ghan cubic equation varg varg higher order equation and vikalp is for bhang which is combination and permutation in modern term in fourth chapter 2 we find an another uh, verse that is chovide sankhane parnate and in sutra kartang we find an another verse related with the topic of the mathematics that include pudgal in place of bhang and from the point of view of the applied mathematics the um, inclusion of the term pudgal is appropriate but bang ganyay gamikam this type of phrases is available in argmic literature so the the chapter of the uh, the subject of the combination permutation is given so much importance in jain literature as we find in the bhagavati sutra or in other agamas too that uh, The, it is equivalent treated as bhang is equally treated as a separate subject of uh, rather than mathematics for example at present operation research astronomy mathematics all are different initially mathematics is a part of astronomy and then astronomy is a part of mathematics and nowadays astronomy and mathematics are the two different there is a different department different post graduate degrees in astronomy as well as in operation research in statistics so similarly at that time i feel that the bhang was given so much importance that they have excluded from the uh, sankhyan the sankhyan is the word you dasvide sankhane parnate tam jahan so sankhyan is a technical term used for the mathematics now the entire after knowing about the range of the subjects which are available in the jain agmas range of the mathematical subjects we uh, try to simplify the thing and classify it in two parts and that is uh, two major class one is the laukik ganit and another is the alaukik ganit which is also known as the lokottar ganit laukik ganit is worldly mathematics the mathematics which is useful in our daily life or understanding the philosophical details related to the related to conduct of laity comes under this category means the mathematics are daily use like question related with the interest related with the motion related with the uh, 
multiplication, addition, subtraction, the simple mathematics which is used by every man, not uh, for the understanding of the philosophy, is come under this very category. And the content of the party ganit, party ganit is a very technical term used in Indian mathematics, these the mathematics which is written on party, on uh, black blackboard type things, party. Uh, so, and Sridhar, Mahavir, Raja Ditya, Sridhar, Mahavir, Raja Ditya, Singh Talaksuri, Thakkar Feru, Mahimode, all are written, the text related with the party ganit. Of course, name is Bevahar Ganit by Raja Ditya, Ganeshar Sangre by Mahavir Achari, and Sridhar itself used the word party ganit and party ganit sar. So, and part of the mathematics found in the canonical, not only these texts, but some part of the canonical text. In fact, whenever they illustrate anything, they use the sankalan, vekalan, gulan, bhag, bhaghar, etc. So, some part of the canonical text and the text written by these acharyas, Shridhar, Mahavir, uh, Rajadit, etc., are comes under the category of the Loki Ganit. Now, come, we come on the Aloki Ganit. That is modern terminology, we can say as para wordly type of mathematics. The mathematical word is completely unknown with para wordly type of mathematics up to two, three decades before. And the number theory, uh, we know that modern number theory is a bit different from the number theory which is available in giant literature and there is a lot of controversy and a lot of unexplained thing. And uh, sometime we people who are working in the field of Jain mathematics are unable to explain the different phenomena of the number theory, which is depicted in the Jain literature. So number theory, karma system theory, uh, in two, three papers, there is a lot of this, this depiction was made, ashrava, bandha, samvara, nirjara, and moksha. So whenever the infinite particles, uh, material particles come, so come, attract towards soul, and bond is with the soul, sometime it decay, sometime it remain attached, sometime never at decay. So there is a system and the formulation of such type of system of the amount of the karmic particle coming, bonding, remaining, and then decay can be made as a system of engineering or physics. But so far it is, we are not in the position to make it. Some research paper on Indian Journal of History of Science and post rock Journal has been published but they are not sufficient to explain this very phenomena. But I admit this very thing, but there is a possibility to develop a system of incoming, in fact, the karmic particle may be taken as energy particle, may or may not, I can't say, These, this thing can be more explained by the philosophy people, but they had come, attach, remain sometime, negati or nikachi type ke karm jo hai kabhi bhi nahi chhootte hain, bhogne ke baad hi chhootte hain. But there is a transition of the term. Some karmas can be transferred to each other. The reduction of the intensity of certain type of karma can be done with the help of tapa and uh, with the practices which are made by us. So, there is a possibility to develop a system and the efforts in this direction has been started by certain person. One PhD has been done by Ujjula Dudkaunkar in Nagpur University on this very field. And the, she developed the different type of system, but they are in the developing stage. So, karma system theory, mathematics related with Pallyopam, Sagropam, Raju, etc., come under this category. Mathematics found in Shatkhandagam, Tiloy Parnati, Lok Vibhag, Dhavala, Jai Dhavala, Gomatsar Jeevkan, 
कर्मकांड लब्धिसार एंड अदर कर्म ग्रंथास लाइक जीव समास पंच संग्रह अंडर दिस कैटेगरी द अर्थ संदृष्टि अधिकार ऑफ सम्यक ज्ञान चंद्रिका रिटर्न बाय टोडर मल आल्सो कम अंडर दिस कैटेगरी आई स्पेशली वांट टू मेंशन हियर दैट दिस टाइप ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स इज नॉट वेल स्टडीड सो फार एंड देयर इज ए स्ट्रॉन्ग नीड देयर इज ए लॉट ऑफ स्कोप टू स्टडी ऑन द पैरा वर्ल्डली टाइप ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स एंड दिस स्टडी कैन बी डन ओनली विद द पीपुल बाई ए ग्रुप ऑफ द पीपुल हु नोज द सिस्टम थ्योरी मॉडर्न सिस्टम थ्योरी मीन्स दे हैव द इंजीनियरिंग बैकग्राउंड और द अप्लाइड फिजिक्स बैकग्राउंड विद द असिस्टेंस विद द गाइडेंस ऑफ द पीपुल हु नोज बेटर द फिलासफी और द कर्म थ्योरी दे आर आर वन हंड्रेड फोर्टी एट टाइप ऑफ सब कर्माज एंड एट टाइप ऑफ कर्माज एंड what is the combination what is the net effect of the different type if i work at at any moment that simultaneously we are securing the gana varni darshana varni vedni mohini all are working simultaneously so what is the net effect of these karmas this is a very complicated issue which i want to raise here because the mathematics people cannot do alone this thing and simultaneously the philosophy people cannot do alone so this is a proper platform where the people who are expert in case of mathematics as well as who knows the karma theory join together and take a project to do this very thing the important topics of mathematics found in jain literature of course the topic is very Uh, views and we can now here i am emphasizing not the uh, hardcore mathematics but the type of mathematics which is available the place value system which type of mathematics found in jain literature a primary survey of the jain literature yields that the following topics of mathematics are discussed in detail place value system with zero having place value this is the specialty regarding zero it is said that it is the contribution of the india but who contributed it who invented it in jain literature first time we find the zero which have their place value not null and void only the in the term koda koli that is 10 to the power 7 into 10 to the power 7 so here zero has a specific value or it is found in bhagavati in the sthanang in the surya pragyapti in the chandra pragyapti uh, in shat khandagam all the agmas and the the, the uh, agmas of the digamba tradition used zero as a place value so measurement system there are four five six type of measurement system in the available in jain agmas fractions geometry solid geometry series sequences logarithmic theory of indices rule of 3 algebraic algebraic equation binomial coefficient this is very important in shatkhandagam as well as in the bhagavati sutra we find the use of the binomial coefficient exponential ex, exponential exponential and combinatorial partition theory figurative number the bhagavati sutra is the only text where we find a detailed use of the figurative number the number of points which is required for preparing any uh, figure triangle form quadrilateral uh, triangle circle etc to form the number of point minimum number of times required in two dimension as well as in three dimension so that is uh, uh, in mathematics it is known as figurative number and bhagavati sutra is the only text in which a detailed description of the figurative number is uh, available and after that it is omitted uh, rangoli the far mention of the rangoli is the best use of the figurative number but this technique left by the jain acharyas and the problems related with the wood cutting shadow moments etc astronomy and the cosmology set theory system theory number theory theory of infinity in uh, at present in modern mathematics infinite paradoxes mathematician do not have the answer i do not have the answer how mathematics is greater than infinity how there is a uh, 
indeterminate form of the number 0 upon 0, 0 upon infinity, infinity upon 0, 0 raised to power infinity, infinity upon infinity, these are indeterminate number. And of course, if we assume, if we assign any value, then the entire mathematical system collapse. So we are bound to accept it as 0 upon 0, infinity upon 0, 0 upon infinity, infinity as an indeterminate number. But in Jain literature, from very beginning from Tilopanati or very beginning from Thanam, we find the classification of infinity. Five type of infinity, then seven type of infinity, then 11 type of infinity in Dhavla. So classification of infinity and the appropriate use of different type of infinity was made by Nemi Chandra in 14 sequences. Chauda Dharayan. In the 14 sequences in Traloksar, there is an appropriate application of different type of infinity. So this is the beauty of the Jain literature. And we can 